Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Abe NXC. I'm Abraham, your host, as always, and I'm extremely excited to bring you yet another iPhone leather case review. This time, of course, for the iPhone 15 Pro. Most of us already have this phone by now, or you're looking to get one over the holiday season, and you'll be looking to protect it the best way possible. And in today's video, I'm hoping to help you decide whether or not the Aspen by Andar is a good case for you. So I've worked with Andar a couple times in the past, and they've been gracious enough to send out the new rendition of the Aspen leather case for the 15 Pro for my honest review. Now, just because they've sent out the case for my review doesn't mean they're swaying anything that I say at all. It doesn't mean that they have any sort of say in what I say in this review. They reached out to me for my honest honest review and my honest take and that's what I plan on giving you all today. As soon as the iPhone 15 Pro released and I had it in my hands on that same day, Andar had already sent out the Aspen for me in order to protect my phone right off the bat and so I've been using it over the last month and a half going on two months now every single day and as you know from my past reviews I'm very rough on my phone cases and my phone in general so um, I'll give you a real world example of what your phone could look like after some time with the case and it is a good indicator about longevity over time. So the Aspen by Andar is made with premium full grain Oreo wax leather. Uh, Andar is very open about where their leather comes from and the quality of it. And it's very evident when you look at the case. When looking at the back of the case, you can actually see uh, kind of like the ripples and the wrinkles of the leather that were from the actual cowhide that this was taken from. It just looks amazing and looks real. This color Andar sent out to me is the jet black colorway for the Aspen. And I was hesitant about getting black at first, uh, but I've done tan for a while for the last few cases that I've had. And I was getting a little bit tired of it. And I wanted to see how black would last over time. I've had the black leather case from Apple and I didn't love how that weathered uh, over time and how the patina developed, but I am actually liking the way that the Aspen is, uh, is patinaing over time over the last two months that I've had it. Also, I do believe that titanium or the new titanium colorway for the iPhone 15 Pro is one of the most popular choices. And if you did go for that colorway, I do think jet black is the best leather case color that you can go with. I feel like tan might look a little bit off on it and I am liking the way that it looks on my phone. So you can see how good the fit and finish is of this case by looking at the speakers at the bottom. The speaker cutouts are within maybe half a millimeter of the ends of the speakers on either side of the charging port on the bottom. Um, and so this phone case fits extremely snugly and I love that. So here on the right side of the phone case, you can see uh, on the side where the lock button is, it just says Andar, it's embossed there in a, in a very minimalistic and understated way. Um, I love that about them. There's no big flashy logo on the back of the phone when your phone is face down uh, on a countertop, for example, nobody's really gonna know where this case came from or, or what you know the brand this case is. I've dropped my phone many times <laughs> over the last two months since I purchased it. I am completely clumsy. I got Apple Care Plus, plus theft and loss, plus, 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 whatever it is because of that reason. Um, but the camera and the, the uh, buttons are still in amazing shape. Uh, and also around the sides of the case, I've dropped it on concrete, like in a parking lot, and there's no chipping at all of the leather. Uh, which would have happened by now with some of the other cases that I've used and reviewed over time. So I'm extremely happy going off of just the initial impressions for the quality of the case. So going into the quality of materials for this case, we've already talked about the leather. I absolutely love it, but let's talk a little bit more about the alloy metal here and how responsive it makes the buttons. So Andar has specifically went out of their way to make sure that these buttons feel as responsive and tactile as possible. I've had several cases, and I'm sure you all have as well, where over time you might be pressing the buttons and it feels kind of mushy over time um, or right out the gate, depending on whatever case you have. Uh, and that just doesn't give you the best feeling. You have a $1,000 plus phone in your pocket you want everything to feel nice and crisp whenever you're touching it and these buttons do deliver that i like that there's still metal in these buttons in order to deliver that tactile feeling and let's listen to it here if the mic will pick it up So very responsive, very tactile. There's a there's a loud, noticeable click, at least in person, whenever you press the buttons, and it just adds to the overall feel. Andar also sent out the 15 Pro Max version of this same exact case. Um, and so this is the casing that it comes in. And then you pull this tab out. And then there you go. <laughs> this really does smell like a leather shoe store. I'm bringing this out mainly to show what the uh, the inside looks like for the microfiber. 
So again, microfiber uh, materials on the inside in order to protect the glass backing of your iPhone 15 Pro. There was some discussion about the 15 Pro's back glass being a little bit less durable than previous models. Um, I haven't really seen that being the case with my phone and I've dropped it many times, um, but just in case that is something you're worried about, the interior of the phone is gonna be very well protected, especially if you get any sort of like debris in here, microfiber will make sure that it doesn't damage the back of the, the uh, phone case too much. Um, but these cases aren't just meant for um, for looks and luxury feeling at all because they do definitely protect the phone. I have no screen protector on my phone and the front of the screen has absolutely no scratches or cracks in it and same goes for the back of the phone. So the last thing I wanted to cover in this section is the flexibility test that I've done with pretty much every phone case I've reviewed in the past. It's a pretty good indicator about the quality of the uh, materials that are used in the phone case, as well as over time, the longevity of the of the case and whether or not it's gonna get loose on you and maybe drop your phone one day, you know, who knows. So here we go, let's give it a shot. <laughs> it's extremely rigid. Uh, extremely rigid uh, for comparison I have my older um, Apple case Apple leather case much more flexibility here and so that's a good segue into the last section which is longevity over time right uh, I have only had this case for two months but the flexibility test and the fact that I've dropped this case about maybe six times since I've owned the phone and been using this case and there are basically no shines of wear and tear tell me that this case is going to outlast as long as I'm going to keep this phone for, which is about a year. But I can definitely see this lasting a good amount of time past that. Two years, I'd say, is, is very easy or a, a good target for this case, especially for those of you who don't upgrade every single year. I know that not everybody does that. I'm weird uh, and I review these things for you all. But I do feel like this case is going to go the distance. So now going into my final verdict, guys, I really don't think it's any secret that I'm extremely impressed by the level of product that Andar can produce and specifically how good the Aspen case is. Um, the level of craftsmanship, manufacturing, the quality of materials, etc., that they put into this case and still are able to competitively price this to be, I think, about $5 below what the equivalent would be from Apple themselves absolutely blows my mind. I used to be a diehard Apple leather case fanboy. <laughs> Nothing else could, could match it to me, but I really think that I found a company and a product that has made me... Um, turn the corner and not look back. So that's just my honest review. Again, I'm not getting paid by anybody to say a yes or a no or a go buy it or not. Uh, give it a shot in my opinion though, check it out. I do have a discount code down below for you all, whoever is looking to purchase this case uh, where you'd get 15% off at checkout by using the code down in the description. So check that out and click on the link in order to, uh, to access the website. But even if you're not looking to purchase the case or not looking to purchase right now, still go ahead and click that link and you can see all of the different colorways. A good amount of colorways were added to the 15 Pro lineup for the Aspen. I think I even saw a red one there that looked absolutely gorgeous. I actually might be picking it up myself in the near future. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it and comment down below which colorway of the iPhone 15 Pro you're getting and which colorway of the Aspen case from Andar you're thinking about getting as well and if you're new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you're notified of all of my new uploads i don't just do <laughs> leather case reviews i do many other things as well uh, and i will be posting some more videos very soon thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace